All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just got some good news here, ladies and gentlemen. UFC 307 from Salt Lake City, ladies and gentlemen. Would have had this match, ladies and gentlemen, but Muhammad, the new walked away champion, declined. He wasn't ready for that time for the fight, ladies and gentlemen. But we're still going to do the fight and see how it would turn out. When will this fight be scheduled, ladies and gentlemen? Will it be at New York City or will it be in December, ladies and gentlemen? Who knows? I had an arena at Salt Lake City for this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. All right, get your Kazakhstan flag emojis ready. The undefeated Shavkat Rachmanov has arrived. And I don't care what you want to say about his pre-UFC schedule, when you can finish every single mixed martial arts athlete that they put with you in an octagon or cage, you are doing something right. He's got submission offense that a lot of this division can't lay claim to. He's an outstanding striker as well. And if he's got to win a kickboxing match here tonight and not lean on that patented grappling, he can probably do that to get the job done. But many believe you are looking live at one of the best welterweights in the world and a future undisputed UFC champion. for this welterweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Featuring the bona fide welterweight contender, Bilal, remember the name Muhammad. Biggest key to his success of late, undeniably, has been the wrestling and the pressure game, the ability to impose his will on the ground. He has an outstanding top game, very good ground and pound. And I think when his submission offense gets to that next level, Bilal Muhammad's gonna start putting people away and maybe be fighting for the title before the end of the year. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Rockman. Man, this is wild. It's the like offense. These fighters are going at it. Pass, no break, baby. Let's go. Oh, nice jab. That kick blocked by Bilal Muhammad. Early down one action here, and just like that, he gets him to the ground. 
feels like a pretty significant moment here early, champ. I mean, it's no secret what this guy wants to do. This guy wants to take you down and he wants to grind you out. He got the takedown early. Let's see how long he can control this position and what amount of damage can he inflict on his opponent. Muhammad's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Oh, look out, folks, that is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Rachmano. Beautiful transition. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh. Rachmanov's in half court. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. <laughs> Muhammad's back in half guard. <laughs> Big ground and pound. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Oh, I like that kick there. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast. He has a real confidence every time he throws the punch. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Oh, that's a good strike there by Rock Monarch. Man, it's almost like he's got a range fighter out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Rock Monarch gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Another punch to the head. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. Oh! Big double leg level change. Muhammad's in half guard now. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Beautiful grounded pound. And now he's got his opponent cut. making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Fighter connects there. Muhammad's cut above the eye. Oh, nice hook. Gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. That could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecards, potentially. Very useful when it comes to the scorecards, but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still be throwing takedown attempts at the end of rounds instead of winning fresh. Look at him, he's setting up the choke now. Look at that, he's setting it up. That Dorse is tight. the horn at the end of the round, so the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Oh, effective use of the jab by Rachmano. Clean hook there. So 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, nice body shot. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Just missed with the elbow there. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Rachmanov's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Muhammad's in half court. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Muhammad going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight ending intentions. Striking from every position lands a strike from the bottom. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take you down very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. They've worked very Now potentially working on a submission instead. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing shot. Oh, he's got the choke. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sun. How do you get out of harm's way here, I mean, DC? you got to shove that knee, John. Usual suffocating work from the top here by Muhammad. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the field. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground. And these guys were going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. So Rachmanov's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Shots landing on both sides here. Unable to connect with the right. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his pump. Fighting from both sides, lands in left hand. Single leg takedown, well played. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oh, he's in trouble. No, oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Got to be careful here. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Ooh, looks like another submission attempt now. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight.
All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. Oh. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Pretty strong jab there by Rachmanov. The uppercut flails and misses. Beautiful straight punch there by Muhammad. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. I know you've got a huge appreciation for this. Oh, I mean, this is this is high-level grappling by both of these guys. Oh, postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Bilal Muhammad. Rachmanov's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. The ground strike's starting to pile up. That was nice. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. So Rachmanov's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Now some separation. All right, so the referee steps between the two fighters. They are going to call on the doctor to look at that nose, and I'm fearful this is going to be the end of the fight. Yeah, it's bad. There's a lot of blood. You can see him almost mouth wide open, gasping for air. Crowd wants the fight to continue, and it looks as though it will, but maybe stylistically might have to change some things and get aggressive because that cut's not getting any better. That cut is only going to get worse. Every time you get hit in it, it just gets worse and worse. You have to take some chances, try to end this fight right now. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Absolutely, and I'm just as excited myself. I want to see these guys compete. I want to see who wins. I don't want it to stop because of a cut. I want to see the best fighter get their hand raised at the end of the night. Luckily, we get to try to do that. Beautiful job getting those hands up. That one snuck in. Nice strike. So Rachmanov's really bleeding heavily now. You got to think they might bring in the ringside position to take a look at that cut between rounds. DC, no denying he's winning this fight. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Changing the position. He's gotta be careful here. Oh, another shot. The doctor might have to step in soon. Oh, heavy shots continue to rain down.
All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep it. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. 30 seconds to go in the round. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete right now? Yeah, this is, this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, his corner can stop it, the referee can stop it, the doctor can stop it. Somebody needs to do something because this fight is over. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round. Oh, Johnson getting the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Oh, what a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's and now he's got him pretty bad. So Rachmanov's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken, and we might get a ringside physician or a referee to stop this fight here soon. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hook. This man is landing through the front of the Oh, my goodness. What a fight. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. The official decision is now in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop in this contest at 45 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bilal, remember the name, Muhammad. Well, he came in as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion, and that is exactly the way he goes out. After one of the better performances of his UFC career here tonight, he gets the win by TKO. Ultimate. Now I can feel it in my All teeth, right, ladies and gentlemen, what a matchup that was, ladies and gentlemen. What a matchup could this really happen? When will this happen, ladies and gentlemen? Who knows, ladies and gentlemen? I hope you enjoyed this match. See you on the next one. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.